Welcome back ladies and gentlemen on YouTube. Today I've got a uh, question that I'm going to be answering for a lot of people that have been asking. Uh, I had this question myself back in the day. Um, it's regarding the Yugoslavia Model 48 Mauser and the German KAR 98 Mauser that's built on a full length Model 98 action. Uh, the question is, are they the same rifle? And when you first look at it, I mean, obviously they look pretty similar. There's a little bit of difference that pops out. But at first glance, sure, they look like the same rifle. But there's a little bit of a difference in here that can actually kind of screw you over when you're buying parts if you need to for these rifles. We're going to start with the full-length Model 98 action on this K98. That was actually used by the Yugoslavs after World War II. I kind of did that on purpose just to show you because both these rifles would have been used, you know, following World War II before all the fancy dancy, you know, AK rifles and SKS rifles came out, this is what was primarily used by the Yugoslavian military. So this is a German K98 that was scrubbed of most of its markings. There's some Waffen amps underneath the barrel, but that's you have to take the stock out to see that. These are great rifles. They were cheap a couple years ago. I bought one. They're great shooters. Some collectability. Most of the German markings are gone, like I said, so that kind of, you know, destroys it. But for shooters, you can't beat them. Anyways, um... So this full-length 98 action, probably something you're used to. It's got the long pull, you know. It's designed for the venerable 8 by 57 millimeter uh, Mauser cartridge. So this is actually Yugoslavian ammo, too. We're just on a Yugoslavian binge today, aren't we? We're just you going it up around here. So, you know, it's made for the 8 millimeter cartridge. Both, you know, both fire the 8 millimeter. But there's a couple little differences in the action itself. Um, namely being the length. So I'm going to show you really quick. With the bolt closed, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or if it's a good representation, but I can see it. We'll see if it comes through on the video. So I'm going to put the round on the top of the bolt um, by the uh, clip guide on the back of the receiver. And you see how there's a, you know, quite a decent distance, probably about a third of an inch of clearance between the front receiver ring and the bullet tip. And now I'm going to put it in here and you see that there's about a quarter of an inch. You know, it's just a little less. You can hardly see it. Um, but if you know rifles really well, you, you'll notice that. So you're sitting there going, okay, well, maybe it's just uh, an optical illusion. Well, no, it's not. Because this M48s and the M2447s are going to be a three-quarter length large ring Mauser action. So they're not technically a Mauser 98 action, even though they're built you know, using the same principles. And it's a copy of it. They, for some reason, went to the three-quarter length. Um, you know, with their 2447s and their, you know, M48s. So I don't know the reasoning behind that. If somebody actually knows the actual reason, please post that. I'd be really curious to know. But um, anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just prove this to you by taking the bolt out of the Yugoslavian M48 and uh, swapping it out for the large ring standard length 98, uh, 98 bolt. So I'm going to try to put it in this uh, M48 here, and that's as far as it goes. It won't go any further than that. It won't even lock down because it's too long. And vice versa, put the M48 bolt in the K98. Sure, it'll go in and everything because it's the same diameter and everything. But it only goes up to here and the locking lugs are still exposed, which means they aren't going into the receiver where they need to or in the chamber. So they won't work. Now, why, why would they do this? Because of the interchangeability of... You know the most common 98 act, or the most common bolt action in the world, the Mauser 98. Well, again, I, I have no idea, and it just is beyond me. As far as their functionality, I've fired both an M48 and a K98, and they're—I mean, they're—they're they're both great shooters. You really won't notice the difference that much. Um, the only way you can really tell the difference is if you're really finicky with these and like to mess with them, you know, and and check them out. And you'll notice that the, the length that you have to pull the bolt back on the K98 just seems a little bit longer than it does on the M48. You don't have to pull it back as far. So, um, both very functional weapons. They'll kill a deer. They'll kill pretty much any large game in North America. Um, I have nothing against either of them. They're both great designs. The M48, the bolt kind of, the handle isn't bent down as far, so it sticks out far, so it's a little easier to grab. And they don't have to have the um, the cutout like they do on the K98 for the bolt so you can grab it because this is bent down a little farther. That's another pretty noticeable difference. And also the uh, 
M48 bolt has kind of got a half moon cut to it like that, or they shaved the bottom part of the bolt off, whereas the K98's just a standard ball like you'd see on most uh, most K98's and Gewehr 98's and stuff, and even on the earlier M2447 Yugo Mausers. Um, you got the uh, full full length wood handguard on the M48 right here, which is the same as the BZ24 and the 2447. I, I like that better, to tell you the truth. Um, it may not look like a K98 with a little short guy here, but it offers more protection. Um, but it also can screw you over because you think you're safe grabbing it, and this thing just gets boiling hot when you shoot it. Here you know it's exposed, you know not to touch it, but here you, you kind of feel safe sometimes. And I'm guilty of what I've done, and I've picked the rifle up like this and burned the crap by the inside of my the web between the thumb and the index finger. Moving on down the rifle, it's pretty similar. I mean, you've got you've got the rear band. They're similar in length to, although not exact. As you can see, the M48's just a tad bit shorter. Let me move the camera on down here. The M48's just a tad bit shorter than the uh, K98. The rear band is back a little further. The front band, it's it's kind of got it's kind of you know more lining up with the K98, but, the, but that's because this piece is longer, so the spring is going to be longer. Um, both, or no, that one doesn't have a cleaning rod. Damn, I'll have to get one. Both have the same kind of you know 98 bayonet lug, which is fine. The same front sight. Um, it, it's pretty indistinguishable. The the front sight is exactly the same. And they got the covers on them. It's just the inverted V. Um, cleaning rods would be the same. I'm sure you could even interchange these bands because that's just an H band. And then that's the later uh, full coverage. I don't know the correct term for it. Just a later band. And uh, yeah, the sights are almost the same. There's a few little minor differences. I'll, uh, I'll kind of try to show you those really quick. So on the... Uh, elevating little thing right here it goes across the entire site whereas the k98 will not there's a gap in the middle you see that i have no idea why that is uh, the numbers themselves are actually different because you notice the 20 for 2000 meters is on the left on the m48 if you can see it on the k98 it's on the right so also the k98 starts out at 100 meters this starts out at two so that's probably why so the numbers are just a little bit different. Again, this is a Yugoslavian site, and this is a German site. So there are differences. So no, the parts are not all interchangeable. Um, I doubt that, I, I, I'm not going to say that the stocks are even interchangeable because of the length of the action itself. You'd need to, you know, drill it, you know, with a, with a Dremel tool and, uh, you know, make it fit, do a lot of stuff, and it's just not worth it. So... Pretty much the whole idea for this video is they're not interchangeable rifles. They both fire the same round. They both aesthetically look similar. They both handle the same, but the parts themselves generally are not interchangeable. I'd say about 80% of these parts are not interchangeable. Um, I don't know about the little ones like the safety or little stuff like that. So maybe we'll drop that down to 70% because maybe the safety and the cocking piece and all that stuff is the same size, but I'm not sure. Um, Floor plate looks the same. This one has the the action the action screws, the set screws. So does the K98. So very similar yet very different. Uh, why they went to this three quarter length action? No idea. But both the rifles are great. I fired both of them. You're gonna hit your target with either one of them, and they definitely serve their purpose. And now M48s can still be had for sub three hundred dollars. So sub $300 for a Mauser action that fires the 8mm, you really can't beat that. So I'd advise you uh, try and pick one up just to have. Uh, like I said, they're great, great game rifles. You can kill bear with them, deer, um, coyotes, <laughs> unless you're saving the pelts. But yeah, and then the Hugo Surplus Ammo, you can still get this if you're lucky. It's good stuff. These are made to shoot the little 196 grainers, which is what these are. 196 or 198, I forgot. Anyway, it's good stuff. Uh, they'll eat just about anything, which is great. Very strong rifles, and I like them both. Just wanted to let you know that, yeah, they are indeed two different rifles. So appreciate you watching. I'm um, sorry I talked in circles there for a bit. I was just trying to remember if I forgot anything. Uh, if I did, just let me know, and we'll uh, discuss it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please, and we'll see you next time.